Splunky Secure Mat Uncoupling Membrane How To The Thinnest Uncoupling Membrane Okay, so I'm going to be using Blanky Secure Mat. It's an uncoupling mat. It's the thinnest available. It's even thinner than eighth of an inch. It's actually about about a half the thickness, about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, let me show it to you here. So this is the product. It's basically a membrane with reinforcing ribs all the way through, and you put this down like any other uncoupling membrane but at half the thickness so let's get to it so just like every other uncoupling membrane this uncoupling membrane does not have any structural value if you want an uncoupling membrane that has structural value, then you have to buy a uh, blanky permat. That's the only one that has structural value. So this one here does not have any structural value. So your subfloor has to be suitable for tile. It has to meet a uh, deflection requirements. And, uh, but that's true for any other uncoupling membrane. So this one here is just a little bit thinner and it's gonna be, it's gonna take less thin set because you've got no waffles or no voids to fill on the top part. So I'm gonna get, get to this, uh, make sure if you're going over plywood, you wanna make sure that you are using the appropriate thin set. So on plywood, you want an A118.11 or better thin set. On concrete, you can use unmodified or any other thin set that you want. Uh, but on plywood, make sure you use the appropriate thin set. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so like any other membrane, you don't want to butt it tight to the wall. You always want to leave a little bit of the gap. So I'm actually gonna cut this out so I'm not right on that plywood seam. So just butt the seams tight. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it the rest of this here and then we'll cement it down. Okay, so I got it all cut in over here. I don't like to have you know the seam of the uncoupling membrane fall on the seam of the plywood. So no, I just cut that back like that so I can overlap that. This stuff is really easy to cut. So you don't have to do it like this. So I like to cut everything in. So that way I'm not working with thin set and then trying to cut the membrane in and then cut more, you know, do more thin set. In the meantime, the thin set's drying in the bucket and firming up. Now you don't have so much pot life in a bucket of thin set. This way you're just using, you just do one operation at a time. If you like to do it the other way, that's probably fine. This is how I like to do it. Just cut it all in, mix my thin set, and then put it all down at once. Quick, easy. Okay, so I know this might be heresy, but I am going to use a Dietrich valve install this is 1164 by 1164 um, they do have a recommended trowel but this is the one I've got so this is the one I'm using you don't want to use a bigger trowel because then you're gonna get humps 
um, thin set under the mat, you want to use the correct size trowel so you get a good bond to the plywood, but you don't get the thin set piling up as you as you um, smooth it down. You want it to bond, but you want a very thin layer of thin set underneath. Otherwise, you're going to end up having humps and bumps on the uh, on the mat. So when you're using thin set over a porous substrate like concrete or uh, plywood, um, these substrates are very thirsty. So you always want to make sure that you give the substrate a drink first. Uh, so basically, you're just going to wipe it down with a sponge to make sure that you uh, dampen the plywood. It's actually got the term is called um, soaking wet surface dry. This way the Thin set has the ability to cure properly and the substrate won't draw the moisture out of the thin set prematurely and thus weaken the bond. You don't want to leave any standing water, you just want to dampen it so that the substrate has moisture in it, in it so it doesn't dry out the thin set uh, prematurely. The second thing that this does, it, it will remove any residual dust from the substrate allowing for a much better bond. So best practice when spreading thin set is always to key in the thin set into the substrate before you notch out the thin set. So what does keying the thin set mean? It means that you use the flat side of the trowel to force the thin set into the pores of the substrate and then you use the notch side of the trowel to uh, create the notches of the appropriate side, size for the material that you're setting. Okay, so you want to get all the air out and this is what you want to see, perfect transfer. Very simple. This is not a waterproofing membrane, so you don't have to worry about putting a hole in it because we're not waterproofing. You just want to get all the air out.
so I'll get the rest of this and we'll be done okay so that's done quick easy just remember to use the correct type of thin set for your application for well, plywood we needed a modified thin set we need a modified thin set that conform to ANC A118.11 or better because um, anything lower than that will not stick to plywood so next is a 24 by 24 inch tile on a diagonal and I actually did the kitchen floor with uh, that tile, that same tile is going in here so that's this floor here I did about a year and a half ago I'll link to that video same tile going in the front hall over here 